All righty, we are back again, and uh, we're going to do a little something different today. We're going to build a cabinet. I went to uh, IKEA and looked at a couple of their cabinets, and I wasn't really feeling the detolf, uh, so I want to see what other options are out there. And I bought one of each, and I think one of them is um, a little more suited to potentially modifying, stacking, making taller. Uh, and one of them, uh, if you were to stack it, it would just be ridiculously tall. Uh, but I was trying to find something that would fit right here where this 412 is. And uh, we're going to, and I think I got the perfect fit. It's a direct fit. We can uh, pull this uh, 412 out of my wall of doom and uh, lay this cabinet in here. And we'll throw some uh, figures in there. So, uh, you see me doing videos now, there not only will there be the wall of doom, there'll be a cabinet behind me, uh, kind of showcasing some of the figures that I've, I've collected, and uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll build it together and uh, see how it's put together, and we'll, we'll get started with that. Okay, here's a quick look at the, the wall of doom. <laughs> We're going to remove that 412 cabinet right there. Yeah. This is where I do my videos. So, all right. All right, here we are. We got the Rudsta, R-U-D-S-T-A, Rudsta, Rudsta. I don't know, from Ikea, you know what I'm saying? But uh, we pulled the top off. This is what we got for parts. Um, this is the side. We're going to lay these pieces out. I'm going to believe, actually, uh, that's the first thing we need to do anyway. The thing to throw that thing on his back. Let's uh, kind of quickly uh, look through these parts already. So let's uh, lay that down there. Pull this over here. Yeah, let's set this over here. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay, it comes with some tools. And we got a bunch of. Got a bunch of stuff. Ye old buck knife. Never leave home without it. All right. Mm. Okay, we got some stuff here. Woo -wee. I don't want that. I'm getting kind of warm. I hit that fan. My goodness. All right. We got some fan action. All right, we're going to put this thing together, lay all these parts and pieces out, man, there's a lot of stuff here, so let's see, we are looking for these round headed, uh, look to be about three quarter inch long, with a uh, Allen head in the center. So you got a big hole and a small hole. And the small hole, make sure I'm not screwing this up. Ah, hold on. Big old small hole on the outsides. You see, they're all the same. They are not. Okay, I'm thinking the small hole, the one with the holes, that's the top. Somehow that, that's the top. The one, okay, we got other holes here. Okay, there's a dual set of holes here. This is the bottom. Those holes are going to be facing on the inside of the cabinet. So that, that thing sits like this. Um, so you got to pay attention to those holes. Which way they're going to go. Damn. Uh, probably should have grabbed some real tools from down in the garage. But I'm going to put this together with the silly tools that it comes with. <laughs> we go, you know, just in case people who are watching this video go, well, I ain't got all them tools. Well, we're going to do it with the tools provided. 
Ain't gonna be no cheating. Alright. Got that tight. Okay, let's look at that. This has holes in the side and top. Let's, see, let's look at all these holes. I think that's gonna make a difference. Holy shit, you think they'd tell you. There is some differences here. Oh my god. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, I'm stupid. They're actually different sizes. Uh, <laughs> we're learning together. <laughs> okay. So they're actually different sizes. Yes. Uh, okay, the smaller ones, the smaller ones are on the bottom. So the smaller ones go on the bottom. Um, as I said in the picture, Two holes here. This one has no holes and it's smaller, uh, smaller square. I would say diameter, but that's round. Uh, for the lack of a better term, we'll call it smaller diameter, even though it's fucking square. Mm. Okay, got that. Uh, looking at the pictures. I ain't reading shit. I'm just looking at pictures. That's how we do things around here. <laughs> just look at the pictures. Alright. Now, according to ye pictures, these holes are definitely in different spots. Uh, Alright. The hole that uh, the hole that's farther up be on the outside. Take our uh, round-headed three-quarter bolt. And it goes from the inside, just like that, out. Okay, now we got all those legs sides put together. I'm ready. They're saying the next step is to get the other side. We're going to pull all this apart. It's all packaged in. Got paper. Got some backing pieces. Got some packing crap. More backing stuff. Oh shit, more paper. Paper! Oh shit. We got some glass. Glass panel. Packing tight. Another glass panel. Alright, and now down to what we're really looking for is the frame. Frame's gonna go in there like that. And this thing so far <laughs> seems to be going together pretty good. Now I do like this about the detolf. This is all metal. And uh, and it's not real thick. So it's not going to distract uh, from seeing the figures inside, um, as if it were made of, you know, wood or something. Being it's metals, it's much thinner. Uh, I'm going to start putting these together. Run all your bolts in. Same as before. Man, wish I would have grabbed a real tool. <laughs> Cause this thing sucks. Snug them up, not too tight. You don't want to over torque it. Just snug it up. Taking through all this BS. Okay. It's kind of weird. It screws in this way and screws up through the bottom. 
got to pay attention to the direction of the screws. They are going in different directions from the top to the bottom. Why are they doing that? I don't know. I guess they got a good reason for it. As you can see, this is just about a direct fit for the cabinet. The 412 cab that I'm going to be pulling out of there. What that'll allow me to do, snug it up. So, uh, you know, keep my Ted Nugent poster there. <laughs> a lot of people like, Ted Nugent? That's right, Ted Nugent. Damn right. Well, you young kid growing up in the 70s, Ted Nugent was the shit. Yeah, I know a lot of people probably don't like him today. But that man can play the guitar. So, anyway. Okay, all with the build. Taking a few minutes. I've brought the, the other box in. And, uh, you know, let me do something here real quick, just to make a point. One of the nice, <clears throat> one of the nice things about this is now for me, I got my own, I got a truck, so hauling something up like a big cabinet's not a big deal. Maybe you don't have a big truck. These boxes are only 42 by 16. So you can stick this in a car and bring it home and build it. Um, and so as I was talking about, potentially uh, another type where you could stack them and make a bigger cabinet taller. And there would be kind of the benefit of that uh, if you didn't have the means to haul around a gigantic cabinet that's you know six seven foot tall so there you have it all right next step is we're going to screw in the little feet it's got little feet uh, you can adjust we'll screw them all the way in this uh, allows you to level uh, gives you a means of leveling on a floor uh, we're going to just screw them all the way in um, you can level them up Alright, that's step four. <clears throat> Heading up to step five. Okay. Now, step five has us putting this bottom in. Now, that's why I had to bring over this other <clears throat> box. Half the stuff's in one box, and half the stuff's in another. So, what you have is a door. Set that door over here. Some more paper. A couple. Close. Yeah. That's the bottom. It's got a nice uh, rib here for added strength. Nice. All right, you got these little plates. You have a set of slits, and you got those holes there. You want to take this, slide it through the slit, and then run your bolt in like that. There's probably a good reason for that later. We'll find out. Probably going to hold the back up. That's what I'm guessing. Got the second one, slide it through, quarter bolt, round head. 
since she said three quarter inches long, sorry, not a quarter bolt. It's probably like a 1024. Those in there. I think at this point they want us to stand this thing up. Alright, we're standing up. Alright. Now really. This floats like it. I guess there's a damn good reason for that. I don't know. We'll find out. Alright. Now we have these little plastic. Just going to send them in. I guess that's what the, the glass going to hold it down. You just put these little plastic. Uh, kind of like a little that little hole in it. The little plastic inserts. You want to slide them in the hole. That's what your glass is going to go into. And uh So it's just, uh, we got six of them. Two, three, four, six. In the back here. Oh. Yeah, that's what holds the door. That's, uh, uh, that's what stops the door. Okay, that makes sense. So you got six of them. This is going to be the hinge of the door. That's going to be your glass. He's here to stop the door. That's what that is. This this would be the front of the cabinet. Okay. Onward. We have two short ones. And uh we'll do that. Let's see, let's step ahead. Okay. <clears throat> now we have holes here. I'm not gonna put them in right this second, but you're gonna put those. Uh, plastics in there. Let me take a quick look at this. Do like a dry fit. Okay, that's just going to go in there like that. Screw in from the side. Okay. Alright. So we're going to put a piece of glass in. Alrighty. Let's have a look at that. Do some glass. Alrighty. Take a piece of glass. Uh, it's got it's got a little tips on each end. Uh, let's see. Now the glass is saying alright you want to put this glass in so that the tips because the, 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 they're off center. They're not dead center. They're off sorry they're off center and you want them to be facing in towards the cabinet. That's how they want you to put it in. Into those little spots. I'm going to come up here. Um, I guess this is where I should have been more prepared. <laughs> That's all right. Got it. All right. I'm going to put our little plastic pieces in these holes. In fact, I think all I'm going to do is stick them on top of the glass. Alright. Stick them on top of the glass, and then I'm going to send this down. Uh, I'm going to shoot. You really can't even see what I'm doing at this point. Hold on, let me, let me camera up. Oh, okay. Alright, that's better. Woohoo! Now what I done did is I put the little plastic tips there. Got the glass, holes, okay, it's going to slide down in there like that, bam, I'm going to throw some, throw our bolts in there, bolts going on the side,
Hmm. I'm surprised there ain't something that goes in the middle there to kind of... Oh, negative, 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 negative. Back up, back up. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> I'm already screw this one all up. Six ways from Sunday. Now, this is where we're going to use our little silver ones that have a got four of these little silver ones. I'm about ready to screw this all up. All right. Run that in there like that. Tighten that up, snug it up. Not too crazy. You see, this is actually not a bad size cabinet. Okay, we're gonna spin it around. Do the other side. Okay. Okay. Let's put all this right here. Two little dealios right there. Got that again. As I said before, you want that facing inwardly, so it's going to go like that. Pin towards the inside of the cabinet. It's going to go in there like that. I think it's better to go ahead and put these little pieces. I don't know. You can't see it. Whatever. Slide those little plastic deals on over top of your pins first. I think you'll find it easier. And then just send this straight down. Ten. I can walk away. Ain't going anywhere. Okay. I'm going to put our Bolts in there. All right. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Woo wee! All right. Now what I want to do? I'm gonna cut the camera. I want to show you something real quick. What I'm talking about before I put the back on you can't see. Alright, this is the reason why I chose this particular cabinet, because as you can see, before I put anything on it, it's going to be a direct fit. That cabinet, uh, 412 cabinet come out, that'll go in, I'll oh, give me some space. Woo, and the struggle continues. <laughs> man, what you didn't see is I got everything wrong, man. I Oh, you gotta make sure you got holes in the back here, holes in the top. As I said before, these little tent wheelies here up front, that's what's gonna stop your door, that's up front. And you gotta make sure that up here, uh, you're gonna screw on this side, there's like a little, a, a very small hole here. And you'll see like a little depression, a little noogie, if you will, that's facing down with a larger hole open up top and there will be like a pin that will drive through it. Whew. So anyway, we're going we're gonna to continue this project <laughs> onward. Okay, we got the, <clears throat> the backings going to go on. There's two backings that have a rubber edge on it and that's rubbers, that's your um, Location where your shelf will sit. These are fixed shelf. All right, that's going to go in there like that. So two there. Oh. A little silly tool here that they give you. We'll do that. Oh my goodness, man! Can't stress enough to get a real tool. <laughs> if that ain't the point, we're going to build it with what they give us. Okay, got another one, Oop. easy, easy buck, that's another one just like the one we just installed, rubber side up, go in there like that, alright, there we 
go. Man style. Oh, my goodness. All right, four screws left. All right, we'll flip them around. Got your corners like that, like little chopped corners. Then going go in there like that. Bam! Just like that. There's holes in the back, I guess, if you want to bring some lighting in there. <clears throat> they do have uh, lighting for this cabinet. I didn't. I'm going to get some lighting. I'm not sure which way I'm going to go. And, uh, there's a lot of uh, ways you can do it, I'm sure. Oh, sorry, that's 14. We're all the way up to 14 now. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Looks like 15 is the doors. That requires kind of like 15 and 14 together. Or 15 and 16 together. Alright, so we're going to spin this around. Alright, she's starting to get a little weight to her. Not too bad, though. Alrighty, so let's see what we got. I'm going to grab the door. Let's see, we need a pin. We need a new tool. We need one door. Alright. Uh, let's see, got a door there. Well, the door, I gotta make sure I get the right doors. I'm sure there's kind of some kind of Mickey Mouse. Let me look at these doors. Seems to be a slot in it. Make sure I get the right door. I don't want to screw anything up. Oh, I screwed up enough today. Screw up so much, right? All right. Now, what you're gonna do? You got a a threaded. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see a threaded with a pin. You're gonna have to use this little Allen key that you got. Cause in the top of that threaded, this thing will go down in there. <clears throat> Essentially, what you're gonna do? You got a, the little pin. You have a little washer down there that's provided. I'm going to set that in there like that. You're going to bring that door up. And you're going to have to drop this pin. You're going to have to thread it in there and catch. All right, well, there's a lot of threading going on. Let me set this door aside. <laughs> there's a lot of threading to be holding that door. All right. Let me uh, let me do the threading first. Make sure you ain't get this thing cross threaded, cause man, this is kind of a terrible. Man, if you don't get this thing just right, it ain't gonna sit, come out the right side. You got an angle. Man. Around, around, 
how she goes. Okay, I'm starting to feel the, the tip willy. Little tip starting to come out. All right, let's grab that door. All right. Put the pin in here. All right, gonna bring that up. Gonna keep threading down in there. Keep threading. Keep threading. All right, looks like we got a swing going. Yeah, keep threading her in there. So she's flush. Yep, she's flush in there. Bam, got a door. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna go ahead and thread this other side first. Get that thread going. Let's get that thread going, because it does, and that, yeah, make sure you don't cross thread. You got to make sure it's nice and straight because it's got to pass all the way through that piece of square stock and come out the hole the other side. And if you cross thread it and it sits at an angle, it, it may not go through properly. So make sure you got it nice and straight. Threading down through there. The second you put your hand under there, the second you feel the tip coming through okay I'm feeling a tip coming through go ahead and get that other door okay okay it's got like a little it's got a little lock thing here that's kind of neat I don't know what the hell that hits but it's got something no, I, you know what? I think it grabs the back side of the. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not sure. Sure does a damn thing. I don't know. Alright, so here's your doors on there. Alright, out of doors. Alright, guess that's all we need of that tool. Whew, get a drink of water. Holy shit. Uh. Yeah, door's a little wonky, but hey, what do you want for 120 bucks? All right, on to step 17. And, uh, hell, I think I'm out of screws. Oh. I think I wasn't supposed to put on those last two screws. I think those last two screws go on with the lid. All right, let me, let me cock this thing to the side a little bit. See, kind of, okay, watch out for the doors. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, there's probably something here I'm missing. All right, we're going to put that top on. I think he's... Let me get the let me get the angle on the dangle right here. Let me see. Let's lift them up a little bit. There we go. All right. These back screws. I think that goes on afterwards. I think that's going to sandwich all of this. So this back screw is going to have to come off on the top. So we got to take them off. Screw it up again. Alright. Hooey! Man, am I having trouble with this recording? Uh, I recorded a bunch and it 
I guess I had my mic unplugged, so anyway, I missed all that. Uh, it's back together. Uh, it's all put together. <laughs> anyway, uh, how you get the top one is it has this uh, lip edge. Uh, you put that against first, and then the back slides over, and the two screws uh, in the back hold that together. Um, then what you have, you have a rubber. Now you have these rubber lips that are inside that are attached to the back, two of them. And then you just take these little plastic pieces. There's a little square cutout in the front. And you just put it in, push down. And, uh, there is little rubbers that it gives you to put in there for it. And it sits in there like so. As you can see, it's, it's pretty damn sturdy. Uh, so let me get my, my thoughts on that. Where is my paper? All right, let's get some a uh, little bit of facts on this cabinet. Um, the first dimensions I'm going to give you are the DTOF. Now, DTOF from front to back is 12 and a half inches. This cabinet is 13 and a half. So you, you gain an extra inch from front to back. Uh, a DTOF from side to side inside dimensions inside dimensions is 15 inches this is 30 and a half so it's twice as wide as the DTOF now where the DTOF really shines it's taller the DTOF inside dimensions is 62 inches the inside dimensions of this are 40 is it 40 and 5 eighths? I believe it was 40 and 5 eighths. It's actually almost 41. Yeah, it's almost 41 because it actually goes up in there, but there's a little bar through the center to support. And I, I, I measured off of that, but there is a probably an, almost another half inch. So it's really 41. You, can, you know, but would you want something behind this? Here, probably not. So we'll, we'll just say 40, 40 and a half. All right. So being that that's the case, if you cut a detail off in half, which would give you the width of this, then half of 61 of the height is 30, or 62 is 31, sorry. So what 31 inches would do, as you can see, that'd be right, right there. 31 inches would be right, right there. And that this gives you an additional 10 inches. So you got 10 inches times two, so essentially, uh, it's like a DTOF cabinet and a third. So this cabinet uh, is bigger than a DTOF as far as inside cabinet space. <clears throat> and now your cabinet, uh, your shelf spacing, they are fixed. They are 13. What did I get? 13 and 5 eighths. Yeah, something like 13 and 5 eighths in between each shelf fixed okay there is a little catch you know like, like that you can catch this like that you, you know you can close this off and do that um, <clears throat> now what you can do uh, if you wanted to increase this now this thing would be really tall if you stacked it uh, you're talking uh, height would be somewhere around seven foot five inches uh, and what I would do was I would cut these legs uh, measure down a half inch below the bar that comes up, uh, across measure down a, a half inch take a bandsaw hacksaw and cut those off and then what I would do is get a piece of half inch wood stock plywood or something and I'd lay it up on top of here cut out the little squares where the, the legs would be and then you can run <clears throat> you can actually sandwich it with uh, 1024s or something like that. I say, uh, I don't know, about three quarter or something like that because you got a quarter inch stock in the middle. And you literally could stack one on top of each other and have something that was sitting in a seven foot five. Um, <clears throat> that would make this ridiculously tall. But with uh, second thoughts, what might be a good idea is, um, is, oops, sorry. Um, 
I, I'm thinking of a way that I could raise this, and I've already got some great ideas how I could raise the shelf. Uh, so if I were to stack this, which I very well may, um, I would remove this shelf. I would raise this shelf up a little bit, and that would give you a little bit more space down here for, you know, maybe uh, some one six scale. Uh, one fifth scale stuff and then if you wanted to get into some uh, one uh, quarter inch bunny figures lay your bunny figures on the top so uh, the top cabinet that would stack on this your top shelf leave that for bunny figures just take the shelf out all together raise this up a little bit and I got some ideas for that and uh, yeah you can have a 30 inch by seven and a half foot tall glass cabinet for under 300 bucks about 260 by the time you bought the wood and screws these are about 120 so you're talking uh, 240 there uh, probably another 20 dollars in material or stuff wood and stuff so about 260 uh, you can have a pretty big nice cabinet for 260 bucks and this thing's really sturdy i mean look at that uh, they do recommend that you screw it to the wall um, and that would be a smart thing to do but i mean that's 30. Uh, the shelves are good for 20 pounds uh, as opposed to a detolf which is only good for eight. So uh, there's a lot of good reasons why I think this is actually better than a detolf. Um, there's definitely more uh, uh, modifications I think you can do. It's a sturdier cabinet. Yeah, it's twice as, twice the cost, but it uh, honestly I think it's twice the quality. It's it, in my opinion a much better cabinet. All right, till next time, later.